Hi, it's Money44 here, and today I would like to present a short review of the Enhanced Drop in Complete MPA Nozzle Set Gen 2 version for Mario MWS M4 replicas by Angry Gun. I bought the part for the review from Skirm Shop, link in the description. I will be installing the nozzle in the AMG Noveski N4 MWS GBB replica from Double Eagle, which you may know from my review on my channel. And I be replacing it not because the original one is broken or anything, but because it on the 0.36g BBs that I use in my replica gives me about 1.4 joules, which this power is okay for playing on Fabrična, for use in CQB where the limit is 1.2 joules, the standard power is too much. And since I wanted to be able to adjust the power as I desired, I came up with the idea of trying a complete adjustable nozzle from Angry Gun. I know that there are some adjustable N-pass valves available on the market, but I prefer to go with a complete solution, thanks to which the old nozzle remains as a spare in case this one gets damaged. So let's see how the nozzle is constructed, how to install it and test it on the chronograph. But let's start with a small unboxing. The nozzle comes in a thick foil package closet with a cardboard. On the packaging you will only find a sticker with instructions for adjusting the nozzle. Inside there is an Allen key to adjust the nozzle and a complete nozzle. Let's take a closer look at it. The nozzle is made of hard grey plastic which makes a good impression. The quality of the workmanship itself, I would say it's ok, although there are a few places with visible imperfections, as at the locking lock and the back of the piston. Since the nozzle is complete, it also includes a rubber piston head, an adjustable valve and return spring with an o-ring. The nozzle is adjusted by inserting a key through the nozzle hole and turning it. If we want to increase the power, we turn it to the left and move the valve backwards. If we want to reduce the power, we turn it right to move the valve forward. Remember to leave some space in front for the gas. The adjustment screw has some glue on the thread, so I hope it won't get out of adjustment on its own. Due to the fact that this is a complete nozzle, installation is relatively simple. I start by separating the receiver halves and removing the bolt along with the charging handle. Now I have to unscrew two screws at the top of the bolt and then pull out the spring. Now I can move the nozzle forward, thanks to which after slightly bending the upper element I will be able to slide it forward. The next step is to disassemble the rear locking part, it should simply slide up. All that remains is to slide the old nozzle out of the bolt and if there is a small o-ring left in the back, push it out. This way the disassembly is over. The replica from Double Eagle is in the Marui MWS standard, so that at first glance there are no significant differences between the new and the old nozzle. In the rear part I notice only slight prudes, which I decided to cut off for peace of mind, because I have the impression that they would cause problems with the operation of the nozzle. Now I can start installation, starting with cleaning the bolt inside. I put some silicon grease on the piston head and silicon oil on the plastic parts of the nozzle to reduce friction. The nozzle fits without any problems. After pulling the spring catch back, I can put the locking part back in and check the seal. Honestly, it's nothing great, but the original nozzle had the same leaks, let me know if it's something I should worry about. All that remains is to mount the upper element. I pull the nozzle forward and insert the element. When attaching the screws, remember to tighten them so that the element can still move freely. All that remains is to install the spring. And assemble the replica. The nozzle looks like it works properly when dry, so it's time to test it on the chronograph. In the replica, I have installed a 6.03mm archweek barrel with a length of 265mm and a tar backing from Psynec upgrade. 
and the test is performed on BLS 0.36 gram BBs and Protec Green Gas at the temperature of about 22 degrees Celsius. With the nozzle unscrewed to the max, I achieved an average result of 1.51 joules. The spread between the smallest and the largest shot was less than 0.07 joules, so not only did I gain 0.1 joule compared to the stock nozzle, but the spread was also quite small. With the nozzle turned to the minimum, I achieved an average result of around 0.53 joules, while the spread was only 0.06 joules, which means that in my case I have about 1 joule of adjustment on the nozzle. The enhanced drop-in complete MPA nozzle from Angry Gun comes to us with the everything we need. Its dimensions are as it should be and it could be mounted in a double eagle replica in the MWS Mari standard quite easily. The adjustment is quite simple and does its job, giving me the on the Protec Green Gas and 0.36 gram BBs, power range between approximately 0.5 joules and 1.5 joules. So not only I can set the replica for CQB to 1.2 joules, but I can also crank it up to 1.5 joules if I need more power. The only thing that I don't like about the nozzle is the fact that there are some ugly spruits in some places which I have to remove as a preventive measure because I was afraid that they would cause problems during work. The nozzle didn't fully seal either, but the original nozzle remained the same, so I don't know what to think about it. I know that the angry gun parts have different opinions, and I'm curious how the nozzle will perform after long term use, but for now I'm happy with the purchase. That's all for today, let me know what do you think about the nozzle from angry gun, and if you use one how it works for you. And for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.